Hey y'all, this is All of Destiny. In this video, I will be sharing with you all how I wash my clip-ins. So whenever they just look a little dull, they need to be just revived and refreshed and all of that good stuff so that they can just flow and just blow in the wind. Girl, I just simply wash them. So I start off by detangling my clip-ins. That way when I'm washing them, I don't have to deal with the hassle of them getting all tangled. After that, I like to take each individual clip-in and I fold it over itself. This makes it easier for me to hold the clip-ins to detangle further as well as keep them from getting tangled as I'm washing them. I start off by rinsing the clip-ins with some warm water and then I take whatever shampoo I'm using at the current time on my own hair and then I wash the clip-ins with that. I like to keep the clip-ins from getting tangled by not bundling them together but just kind of running my hands through them and then once I'm satisfied, I pretty much rinse out the clip-ins using some warm water. I never really use like super hot water on the clip-ins. And since this is my first time washing them, you can see that some of the um, hair dye is kind of coming out from the clip-ins, but they still match my hair just the same. After that, I take whatever conditioner I'm using currently and I apply that to the hair. And then I proceed to run that through, following up with combing through the conditioner using a wide tooth comb. Sometimes I do allow the conditioner to sit on the hair for two or three minutes. Definitely not too long and you don't have to put it in a bag and deep conditioning and all of that. I find that for me, as long as I follow up after shampooing with the conditioner, then my clip-ins do end up soft and very manageable. After rinsing out the conditioner with cool water, I proceed to detangle the clip-ins just a little bit further and you can see that they look way better than they did before we began the washing process. And I just follow up with this same technique on all of the clip-ins and I do try to keep them folded together. Um, it just helps me to just keep them from getting tangled up, you know, and it's easier to hold them and just comb it through and all of that good stuff. So this is the before and after. The back section has already been washed and the front section has not been washed yet. So let's continue. Always make sure that the shampoo and conditioner you're using on your clip-ins is a good quality shampoo. I find that I switch my shampoos and conditioners kind of often just depending but whichever one I'm using at the time I have always used on my clip-ins as well and I haven't had any problems with my clip-ins using that technique. It's just a tedious process until I finish washing all seven pieces that come in the clip-in set. Um, in real time this really takes me just about five ten minutes. Um, and yeah, I just comb them through and I pretty much will just towel dry my clip-ins after that. If you do want to blow dry them, you can definitely do that. Since I didn't plan on wearing mine right away, I just sit them to the side and I allow them to air dry. But I use the towel just to wring out any of the excess water. That way it won't drip all over the floor. After shampooing and conditioning the hair, I don't really apply any product. I just let it either air dry or I'll blow dry the hair. Most times, honestly, I do just let it air dry. I clip it onto a hanger and then I just honestly put it on a doorknob out of the way and it works great for me. So after you're done washing your clip-ins, you, you can blow dry them or you can let them air dry. I chose to simply just clip mine onto a hanger and allow them to air dry that way. Or since I did not plan to wear them right away, I didn't really have to blow dry my clip-ins. They pretty much dry nice, clean, and very lightweight. Also, I did not apply any product to the clip-ins while they were drying um, after I deep conditioned them. You can see that my hair is pretty much to um, my shoulders, probably a little longer, but I like it kind of took. After my clip-ins are dry, I proceed to just install them to my own hair. Definitely make sure you are subscribed because in my next video, I will be showing you all exactly how I install and blend my clip-ins with my own hair. If you want to purchase clip-ins from Better Length, definitely use my coupon code BLDESTINY. That way you can save money on any texture of clip-ins that you want to purchase. Also, so make sure that you turn on your post notifications that way you'll be notified each time I do post a video to my YouTube channel otherwise you're not a part of the notification gang 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 questions and comments leave all of that down below and I thank you all so much for watching